how do I look? How do I, how is my close up? Do I look stunning? I look shriveled. Is this, I look like I have a freaking turkey neck though. Hello, everybody. My name is Ava, AKA Pastachio, and this time I am going to be doing a con haul of all of the things that I bought or got from Furry Week in Atlanta 2018. My con haul is gonna be in two different parts or two different categories. The first part is going to be things that I got for free or things that were given to me as like free swag. And then in the last part, I will be going over what I actually bought at the con. God, it's so exhausting talking in this thing. Okay. Ah, oh, cause the mouth is just so small, I can't breathe. One of the, the first things that was given to me uh, was upon registering after standing in line at LineCon, it was these, it was this elastic bracelet which is what you got when you registered. Like I said in my previous video, the theme for this year's FWG was a sci-fi theme. It was Galactic Gunslingers, and they had three factions that you could be sorted into, which was Fang, Claw, and Horn. How you were sorted into these factions is when you were standing at the registration table, and uh, they had a box up at the registration table there was a hole in the box. You stuck your hand in the hole and you pulled out a bracelet at random. And there were bracelets piled high in this box. And whatever bracelet that you pulled out, that was your faction. And I pulled out Claw. And you can see the little Claw logo or symbol there. The second thing that I was given was the badge. And I explained why I use badge in quotations. It's because if anyone was at FWA, you'd know the hassle of having to try to scan these whenever you wanted to go to an, a panel or an event at the con. So that's what that is. The third thing that I was given was, it's still in my lanyard, but you're given this sort of like, this, is, this was not your actual badge. It was that bracelet that I just showed you with the chip in it that you had to scan. This is more of like a luggage tag. It's to make sure that you could go into the 18 plus panels or areas or events at the con, but they didn't even check for these. They still had to, you still had to scan your, your little wristband thing. But yeah, that's what, that's the other thing that I got. Another thing that I got was actually a poster and I'm the idiot who left it upstairs and now I have to go get it. So. I'll be right back. In the previous years, when you go through registration, you are actually given a free poster at FWA. And I haven't seen what this looks like, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. I haven't opened it yet. I actually got this poster my last day because my, my mom was driving me the whole weekend. I just couldn't carry it around the whole day. Uh, the last day of the con, I, I stopped by registration and I got a poster. Get out. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Cause I haven't seen it. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. I wonder who the artist is. It doesn't appear to be signed. I don't know if you guys can see that there's a, my windows open so there's gonna be a glare uh, uh, can you see it that's a, a really cool poster I don't know who who drew who the artist is but that's really cool all right more of the free stuff that I was given in the headless lounge they were actually giving away free badges and this is what the badges look like they're right here there are these neon black light badges that you were given in the headless lounge at a certain time. 
And how you found this out was, I guess, by word of mouth. The friend that I made at the con, he, she was just like, yeah, they're going to be giving out these free badges around 10 o'clock. And I was like, how do you know this? Is there like something posted somewhere? And she's like, no, it's just a word of mouth thing. Funny thing is, is you're only supposed to get one badge. There, there are four corners of the room. I think um, for each for each faction, each faction was in three of the four corners in whatever faction that you were, you went to that corner to get your to get your badge. And uh, they weren't checking your bracelets or anything that you got. They weren't checking these things to make sure that you were getting the appropriate badge for that faction. So you were only supposed to get one, but I ended up going to all three corners of the room to get just to collect them all because you know I'm an awesome Pokemon trainer. This is what Claw looks like. This is what Fang looks like. And this is what Horn looks like. It would have been ironic if I got sorted uh, into Horn because you know I'm a Triceratops so that would have been awesome. Some other things that were given to me, there were like swag from the panels that I went to and stuff like that. Like I went to a furry YouTubers panel and they were just handing these out to the to the people in the room and that was a really packed room. That room was packed. When, when we went there, we had to stand in the back of the room. The panel was ending anyway, but we had to stand in the back of the room because there was just like nowhere else to sit. But that is what that looks like. All right, so also when I was chilling in the headless lounge, this guy came up to me, he was like, hey, I noticed you have a very extremely large floor dragging tail. And he gave me this sticker. And apparently there's like a whole group and a, a Twitter page dedicated to fursuiters who have floor dragger tails. And I was actually on Twitter today and they had a they had a meetup at FWA and this totally flew over my head. Had I known about it, I would have gone. But I guess I'll know for, for next year. It says a uh, floor dragger approved crew. So that's pretty awesome. Some more swag that was given to me was I got a lot of business cards. <laughs> this was a business card that I had got when I went to a panel. It was like an artist 101 or artist 102 panel. But basically she was talking about like how to sell your art or how to take commissions. I was all the way in the back of the room. It wasn't really full, but I was in the way back of the room next to the door sitting on one of the chairs. And she was doing a PowerPoint presentation. God, I can't breathe. She was doing a PowerPoint presentation and the lights were dim and it was really quiet. So as she was doing her presentation, I started to fall asleep. It wasn't my intention. I wasn't doing that to be like rude or disrespectful. Like I was tired. <laughs> so I was just like in the back of this room sitting on these chairs and I fell asleep. I wasn't snoring or anything and I was all the way in the back and everyone was looking like straight ahead uh, and to watch her presentation. And the lights were off so I don't think anyone knew that I was asleep. The name of the artist is uh, Furry Filth. Uh, I personally never heard of her but that's okay. And she has like her, her social media is on the back. And she has these cool buttons and her mom, I think, I think it was her mom, she was like handing out free cookies at the door and attached the little bags of the cookies or like her business card and the buttons. So that was really cool. I got free food. Another free thing that was given to me was MOSFET was walking around and he had this bag full of these little bells. He had these little bells and don't know if you can see that but there are these laminated pictures one of them is with his regular self and the other one it's a laminated picture of his booty that was awesome he was just walking around just handing these out to people this was probably one of the best free things that I got it's a free sample of soap that I got at a booth. It was the same booth that I got uh, this lanyard from. They were right next to each other. And I think you guys, this is a pretty well-known artist. She always sells her stuff. 
She has like bandanas and journals and things like that at her booth and lanyards. It's called Cat's Meow. And they're selling these soaps. Like you can just, before you even got to her table, you can just like smell the soap. It's, it's hard to explain what it smells like. It's kind of like a, a natural, uh, maybe like an oatmeal-y smell. But I, it's in a plastic bag and I just had this sitting in my room. And my cat's litter box is right next, almost next to my room. So when I walked in, this tiny itty bitty little piece of soap made my whole entire room smell so nice. And when I was, I, I would be sleeping in bed and I would just catch whiffs of this soap. So, and she does have an Etsy store, so I'm just gonna have to buy a, a bar of soap or something from her at some point. But yeah, the soap smells so good. So, one of the last things that was given to me for free as free swag was when I hosted my panel. They were handing out like these complimentary items for all of the panelists. I got this thank you note, which is really nice. It says, FWA would not be the convention it is without the involvement of people like you. Thank you for hosting a panel and being a contributor to the convention. Hope to see you again next year. Thank you, the FWA programming team. So that was really nice. I also got this water bottle, which uh, there's a funny story about this water bottle. I actually thought it was like sparkling water or some sort of like special like mineral water or fruit water or something because it had this label on it or something and this this guy was all over the this little mascot was all over the con in like these inflatables but I don't I don't know what was up with that I thought it was just some special like tasty sparkling water <laughs> I know I'm an idiot but if you actually take the label off, you can clearly see it's just Kroger brand water. So that was a derp on my part. On the label it says, By hosting your panel, you helped make Furry Week in Atlanta 2018 one of the best conventions in the fandom. You couldn't do it without you. And the last and the coolest thing that I got for hosting the panel was this copper mug. Like, look at how cool that is. It has this cool copper mug and it has the FWA 2018 logo on it. And so that is really cool. That is all the items that I got for free and that were handed out to me. Now I'm going to get to the stuff that I actually bought. So I didn't splurge as much as I have in previous years. I just bought little, little trinkety things this year but nothing too big. I did buy these eye blanks. Crap! Oh! It fell in my cat's water bowl. The business card fell in my cat's water bowl. Ugh! I got these eye blanks with the intention of remaking Ava. Right now, the head is really small on me. I can barely breathe out of her little mouth. So I decided to start by buying these cool eye blanks from an artist named West's Custom Creations. And let me show you her business card. If you would like to follow West's Custom Creations, here's her business card and here's her info that fell in my cat's water bowl. So there you go. The next thing that I got for these cool posters. The name of the artist is Katie Lips Comb. I don't know how well this is focusing. These are these are focusing on the camera. I got my boy Scar on one side. One of the greatest not only Disney villains, but villains in general, in my opinion. So I got my boy Scar. Oh, my nose itches. 
Uh, and right here, look at that. I got my boy Kovu and I got my girl Kiara. I also got this soap from a vendor in the dealer's den called Contact Caffeine. Uh, what's awesome and interesting about this seller is that there's caffeine in the soap. So when you rub it over your body, your body absorbs the caffeine. And if you use it in the morning, it wakes you up in the morning. So that's really cool. Hey guys, so I'm actually in my room and I'm about to take a shower. This soap smells really good. I just opened it and I'm about to use it right now. The scent that I got was buttercream cupcake and it smells like an actual cupcake. I like, I wanna eat this soap. It smells so good because it smells like the real thing. And if I flip it over, there's a cute little paw print on the back side and I just now realized that as I opened the soap. So that's a really cute touch that they added and I really like it. I will definitely be getting more products from this particular uh, artist or vendor. I also wanted to add that I, I also just found out that this is a sticker. It's not just the title card that's on the product to tell you what scent it is. It is an actual sticker. And that is also a really nice touch. Like I had no idea that it was a sticker. That is so cool. The next thing that I got that I'm going to show you is this spray from Naughty Dog Works and they sell body sprays, uh, sprays that you spray on your fursuit so that you can be less stinky. I don't know, is it just me or are people selling like a lot more soaps and body washes and sprays and shower gels like handmade shower gels and soaps and things like that? I passed so many booths and even in the artist alley that were selling all these soaps. I guess people are just tired of these smelly fursuiters running around. With so many people selling sprays and soaps and body washes, like, there's no excuse for you to be a stinky person and a stinky fursuiter at these conventions because there's so many artists selling these soaps and body washes. I got a bowl of ramen sticker from an artist called Painted Deer. I also got these moth uh, stickers and I got a moth pen. Unfortunately, I don't know the, the name of the artist. I didn't get a business card or anything from her. There's no information or anything, at least I don't think there is, that's printed on the sticker sheet with her, the name of her business and on the card that the pen is stuck to it just says night takes wing i'm not sure if that's the name of her business or not but i'll find out i also got this lanyard which i showed earlier i forgot the name of the artist but i'll plug it in i was either gonna buy this or a bandana i'll get a bandana like next year or something but I needed uh, something to put my badges on and I really didn't have anything. So I just bought this in the, the dealer's room. The last thing that I got was this button. Not the button, it's a, it's a bottle cap from an artist called Water Dog Wharf. And fun fact, she actually went to my college. She does this raffle every single year at FWA where she makes a pre-made and furred head base, and you can win the raffle by buying items from her shop. One of the cheapest items that you can buy to enter yourself into the raffle is this bottle cap. I usually buy things from her shop to enter myself into the raffle, and I always buy these little bottle caps. I have them stacked up on my desk. I never win, but maybe hopefully next year I will. So those are all the things that I got at FWA 2018. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. 
thank you so much and I'll see you all the next time.